I'm definitely feeling that pull for the great outdoors, so it's no surprise that the somewhat eclectic mix in this video is making me want to drop the microphone and head that way. I'm Reacher, and here are 10 impressive caravans, camper vans, and motorhomes. Number 10. This first entry is hands down the toughest looking trailer I've spoken about to date, and I've gone over hundreds of these. The Vesper X is a collaboration from the mines at Florida based companies Trans Global Overland and We Roll. Their goal a versatile, extremely rugged trailer that would still be affordable for the everyday user. The end result is nothing short of that, offering up an aluminum frame covered by a heavy gauge aluminum shell. The roof offers 4 to 5 feet of height over a fully customizable floor space measuring 60 square feet that sits almost 2 feet off the ground. This versatility allows you to use it for anything from basic camping to hauling ATVs. The all black design is the standard but it does come in a variety of colors if you want something that looks a little less intimidating. Throw in the ability for it to be towed by mid-sized vehicles due to the light weight and you've got a hard one to pass up. Number 9. This latest effort from Intec RV is named Soul. Having an overall length of just under 16 feet and a width just under 7 feet, it shows you how they can include all the features you need without sacrificing comfort or quality. A single side door opens to a front dinette spanning the width of the trailer which offers room to seat up to four people or sleep two when converted to a bed. In the rear is a queen bed which can sleep another two people. A centrally located kitchenette separates those areas while opposite of that is an enclosed wet bath. Large dual pane windows as well as a panoramic window at the front provide natural light and airflow as needed. You're going to need at least a full size SUV or truck to pull this one as the tongue weight runs around 450 pounds. I want to give a shout out and say congratulations to Derek Duffy for winning our first engagement award. Derek is now a bit richer for being April's winner of a $50 Amazon gift card. And if you're wondering how you can be our next winner, it's really easy. Each month we'll be giving the award to whomever is the most engaging with us and commenting across our social media and YouTube channels. So once again, congratulations to Derek and thanks to everyone for watching. Number 8 one of the many new models by Canadian-based ProLite is the 12V, an all-electric camper that runs completely on renewable energy. And I never get tired of mentioning that we love all things eco-friendly. The interior provides more than enough room to maneuver, offering a height and width around 6 feet with an overall length of 13 feet. The dinette shares the front of the trailer with the kitchenette while the rear holds the bed, which extends in size if needed, taking up almost half of the floor space. Two 100 watt solar panels are located on the roof providing all the power needs for the appliances, lighting, and any extras. As an added bonus, this is specially designed to be towed by compact cars as its tongue weight is only 120 pounds. I'd say that makes it a perfect match for my Prius. Number 7 this first of the drivable campers on this list caught my eye due to one of its options. But first a bit about the other stuff. This version of the 610 series has a monocoque fiberglass body sitting on a Fiat Ducato base measuring 20 feet in length. The centrally located passenger side entrance opens to reveal two rotating captain's chairs in the cab. Behind that is an L-shaped dinette and a small kitchenette opposite each other. Attached to the ceiling above this area is a full-size drop-down bed with a double skylight. The rear half of the camper has an enclosed wet bath and closet also opposite each other with a set of bunk beds spanning the width of the van. Yes, the treasure of bunk beds. But my favorite thing about this one is that if you choose, the rear bed area can be modified for use as a garage for bikes, scooters, camping equipment, etc. As I've said so many times before, versatility matters. Number 6 
If you like the idea of environmentally conscious camping, then this line of travel trailers might be some to consider as they are meant to be towed by more fuel efficient crossover vehicles and smaller SUVs. Just as a side note, I would like to point out that towing any trailer still adds to the fuel consumption. In total, there are 11 different floor plans for this line of campers, ranging in size from 11 to 20 feet long. The standard amenities include kitchenettes, dinettes that convert to sleepers, and separate beds. All of them include a wet bath except for the smallest models, while a few of the largest also have slide outs for increased living space. And for those of you who want to have a bit more fun, one of the models is a toy hauler with almost 9 feet of garage space, so there's plenty of room for all of your outdoor gear. Number 5 the vintage look of this one is definitely eye-catching. The inclusion of a large rear hatch is something worth noting as well. But it's the layout that really takes the trophy on this one. In a space measuring 42 square feet, the company has designed what it calls an adaptive interior. This is composed of a series of modular components including a table, kitchenette, bench, and cushions. Each one is put into place on the floor, which has 15 form-fitting slots, allowing the user to reconfigure the layout in minutes, as well as use the furniture outdoors. Power comes from a 100-watt solar panel with hookups for land-based utilities if needed. Number 4 From the front to the back, inside and out, this one is all about choices. The company added another two models to the Ardo line, which brings the total to 13 different floor plans. They're all built upon a Fiat Ducato chassis, having four or six wheels, with sizes ranging from 24 to 29 feet in length. Although the outer shell can be personalized with colored accents as well as special finishes for the paint, the interior has a few more to choose from with approximately 500 possible combinations between the equipment and fabric options. Each model comes standard with a large dinette area that seats up to four people, a centrally located kitchenette, and a full-size drop-down bed above the cab area. But that's just the front half. The rear houses a large bathroom and the bedroom, both of which can be separated from the front via a sliding wooden door. This one also hides a small garage area underneath the rear sleeper, which can be accessed externally from either side. Three. What started in a garage in 2014 as a personal endeavor has culminated into the trailer you see before you. And if you aren't one for the teardrop style of trailers, then this one might change your mind. Externally, you'll find a seven foot awning and a roof rack, while the rear houses a galley containing a stainless steel countertop with a recessed dual burner cooktop, a locking drawer slide for a cooler, and removable cabinet faces that double as a table and cutting board. Dual entrances provide access to the interior, which has a queen-size mattress, storage areas at both ends, and remote-controlled LED lighting. Overall, this one comes in at 13 feet in length and 7 feet in width with a dry weight of 1,600 pounds. The tongue weight only runs around 125 pounds, so this one should be fine for towing with smaller vehicles as well. Number 2 of course camping is about being able to go off-road, so this one had to make the list. It's built on an Ivaco Daily 4x4 chassis with an extended wheelbase because why not have the extra room? Walking into this one gives you your first glimpse at how cool it is because right in front of you is a set of bunk beds. Not only that, beside the beds there's a panel that opens out to allow natural light and airflow. The bathing area, which includes a separately enclosed stand-up shower, is housed in the rear as well. Moving forward, you'll find a centrally located kitchenette opposite a dinette that can seat up to four people. Another cool addition is a large panel beside the dinette that opens out, providing you a better view of the surroundings. There's room to sleep up to four people using the previously mentioned ultra-cool bunk beds and the full-size bed in the cab-over area. 
And for those of you who may be wondering how tough this thing really is, it has 24 forward gears, four reverse gears, three differential locks, and a diesel engine putting out 180 horsepower. Number one. If you've been thinking of getting a convertible, then you may want to pass on the high-end sports car. This effort from German-based Skydancer is the world's first convertible motorhome. Yes, I said motorhome. The electrically controlled roof opens by sliding to the rear and can remain open while driving. And just so we're clear, this isn't a sunroof or a skylight. It's the whole front of the roof that retracts. It measures in at 23 feet in length, just over 7 feet in width, and 10 feet in height. That doesn't sound outside the realm of normal until you take into account that the lack of a standard cab means the driver is sitting up top while operating the vehicle. This terrace, which integrates seamlessly into the rest of the living space, includes four chairs and a small table. The living area includes a large wet bath with a slide-out sink, a kitchenette opposite that, and a full-size bed. There's also additional sleeping room in the previously mentioned terrace as it transforms to a full-size bed if needed. An added bonus, which seems to be more commonplace, is the rear garage area spanning the width of the vehicle. It's spacious enough to hold up to four bicycles, so it's safe to say that the sky's the limit on any other gear you may want to take with you. and thank you for watching. I'm Chan Lee with Mind's Eye Design. We love to hear your feedback, so please leave some comments below and let us know your favorite from this video and why you liked it. If you have an idea for a future video, leave another comment and let us know. And then if we use your idea, we'll give you a shout out in that video. But don't leave yet. Keep watching because there's more.